Reggae Media TV, Father Dan, everything we bad. And we mad at Dan, everything we mad. So right here we see Vegas call Spice a mediocre recording artist who should grow up. Yes people we're gonna get into this article right here since the drama with Spice over social media of lately. Right here dancehall artist Mr. Vegas is over Spice antics. Yes people as the Sing J believe the blue hair star deliberately stirs the pot to promote new music and he's had enough yes people so right here in a facebook post with the vegas put it out spice is a mediocre recording artist she is the beneficiary of lady saw conversation to christianity factually she is not talented enough to become a musical icon hence her theatrics and histrionic stands supreme to her musical contribution to dance hall spice latest release 2085T accompanied her calling out one of her former dancers for sleeping with her then partner, which is Spice Baby Father, Mr. Vegas, saying that it was an exploitation of DHQ danger trauma. Saying right here, you know, if you dig up back that diarrhea B and if you hurt a sister. Everybody wrong and you never wrong yet. You always a play the victim. Sister, grow up man. Grow up. You are near 50 now. Grow up. That is what we see Mr. Vegas put out. And it's like him I say, Spice I do this for acquire reputation for using publicity stunts to promote music. People want to think about Mr. Vegas view on this right here. So Javichu Ambassador, the producer and manager of recording artist 450, surprised 450 himself with a new 2024 X6 right here. Check out the video. <laughs> So Ramesh, speak about meeting Shensia for the first time. Check this out. First day me meet Shen, Shen come at the office and I slip as boss and pop. And I say, one day, man, you know that brown girl, man. Must have two man, man. Then go buy one slip and she said, no. I have a son that is three months old and I'm alone and take care of him. And she looked at me straight and said, this is my only slippers. I don't have no more slippers. So you listen to me now. I said, yeah, then. I look at her and I say, yo, you good? Where you come from? And she said, I walk. She live at Stony Hill. This is the first day I meet her for come and work, you know. Because her friend just say, yo, I have a friend and she want to work. And I say, yeah, man, I them work. I say, come, I see this and I see this pretty little brown girl. I say, yo, why it's called a killer because she look hungry and more dry. I mean, no exaggeration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go and say, yo, you hungry? And she say, yeah. And I say, go buy her food and I don't reason. And I say, go buy her slippers for her. And at this, so she start work and I me tell her this. Me and I don't know nothing about music for the first six months. Mm -hmm. I watch my watch her work. When she went to Dream Week and I work, yeah. she sold more bottles. Then with 10 girls sell together yeah, because yeah. remember Moit, they gave her an incentive of 60,000 because she sold the most bottle. So Spice and Popcorn link up right here. Yes, people just showing some unity, them all have vibes and thing. But nonetheless, Spice ready for Popcorn and Ruli Fest coming up next month in July. Yes, people, that's over there in the UK. So for now, them just in Malta, I will have vibes. Yes, people, so check this out. Watch your nose! Watch your nose! Not today! Yeah! Take a chance! Now I'm mad at us, man! So since Vibes Cartel into real estate, a lot of people looking into it and say, Jano, Vibes Cartel, they are prison and you can't enjoy, you know, none of them type of lifestyle. But anyway, Vibes Cartel looking forward to his freedom coming up next month. Yes, people, where he will know whether or not if he will do a retrial. So, right here we see Vibes Cartel put out a post saying buy a X6 and just park it up. Them thing ya make them not like me, no? Laughing emoji. Hashtag bond them. Yes, people, so I don't know. Probably Vibes Cartel well confident that he will be out. So, him just a buy him new vehicle from now. Yes, people, X6. Yeah man, so it's like Vibes Cartel 
always speak things into being so probably him just a uh, hold the faith and do this you know buy him new vehicle so when him come out him no say at uh, this him a roll out you know so right here footer hype tackle the prime minister Andrew Holness after he announced there will be new social media laws to deal with yes people bloggers and so forth some people are saying that the prime minister Andrew Holness should tackle crime the same way how he's going after bloggers a young person made a post on social media and that bordered on being defamatory are you kidding me probably libelous are you kidding me the person was tracked and their identity discovered so you already know figure run down and send police to all up on social media people uh, i'm not going to say too much about our capabilities to track it and we have been tracking but you can't find who kill medical now long and short the person was put up to doing this by another political organization. You are my prime minister. May have right to talk about you. And we have been tracking several such cases. You are just vexed, eh? When you are telling the lie them, social media can expose the truth. And that is your problem. And you're going to see some actions very shortly. You can frighten the regular people, them, not me. You know, should I know better? Young can intimidate idiot. And people are afraid I want two day of jail or one three day of jail. The Jamaica Labour Party does not use social media to attack people's character. Remember, you know, allegedly, when you pay a base social media people 10 grand a month, US, to spin narrative. Nonsense and rubbish. When you remember, when you have short term memory. There is an entire industry called fake news. An industry set up just to do that. Anjo, remember, we have video with you as the people who take the joke. So people, do y'all believe that Jamaica was robbed throughout the Ecuador and Jamaica match right here? Yes people, a lot of fans believe that it was unfair towards the reggae boys. Also drop your comments on Leon Bailey not getting a chance to play the game. Yes people, so it's like some people are say if Leon Bailey was there, you know, probably them would stand a better chance. So, we see Leon Bailey react after the Jamaica Football Federation has suspended the Aston Villa winger, yes, people himself, from selection to the men's national team. In a statement on Wednesday, the JFF said it made the decision in light of recent circumstances surrounding his comments and non-participation in Copa America team. So what y'all think about this right here on Leon Bailey, you know, seem unbothered after the Jamaica team lose to Ecuador. I feel so bad for the Jamaican fans tonight because these Jamaican players, they worked their freaking socks off trying to get a result. The way the game started, I understand it was a very unfortunate way to concede a goal. The ricochet, the deflection off of the Jamaican defender, the way it curved from a mile out in that direction, whatever. The Jamaican players, they were resolute. They tried to get back into the game despite going 2-0 down. In the second half, they bounced off. But how can you not give a penalty for this? How? I don't understand. You guys know I don't really go off against the referees like that. But in a game where similarly, early on, earlier on, when you give a penalty for this, when the arm is in an unnatural body position, okay, I won't argue against it. But it's literally the same situation, the same circumstance. If anything, this arm was even out further out. Further out. How can this be considered unnatural and this be okay? This referee completely threw the game and I feel so bad for Jamaica. Yo, Reggae Media TV. Badder than everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. Subscribe now, you hear that?